Kelly. What's up? How are you, Toots? I'm good. good April, good what you. size glass is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, extra trough size glass. I feel woefully undersized. Oh, <laughs> oh, you kids. Wow. <laughs> I um, needed this. What do you got so, there, Carla? Wine? I do have wine. I have a nice Joel Gott uh, 2017 Cabernet. Nice. Fancy. Oh, I'm assuming you've been to Total Wine and More then. Oh. <laughs> I think I saw an aisle there with your name on it. They should give me an aisle. They really should. They should make <laughs> one of those one ways with my name on there. They really should. <laughs> How is everybody? So who's here? I got Kathy. That's better. April. Big Mike is here. Who else is here? I'm Kimalia. There's, well, I know who you are. There you go. You Hi. guys don't all pop up unless you're talking. Kamalia. Krista. I'm Nikki. Yes, girl. How are you, Krista? Good. We've had you before. Yep. This is my third one. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we've talked to you the last couple times. Uh, Kamalia won. Uh, uh, she's the one who found the Jingle Bell Rock last time, by the way. Oh, right on. Oh, oh man. I, I cried. That was impossible. <laughs> I'm the only two-time winner. Wow. Girl. Wow. wow. I know. So it's not impossible, is it? No. No, but, you know, I, I'm an accountant, so in my free time, I love to do treasure hunts. Oh, I love So oh. it's kind of in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I love that. I, Very cool. We've been, uh, what, I've been with the station, oh, gosh, almost nine years, and, uh, and they don't tell us where it goes, and I cannot for the life of me. Like the day someone finds it, it's like how, <laughs> what? Right? How did you find that? So, two times, good job. Yeah, but maybe I should lay off this stuff. <laughs> nah, never lay off. <laughs> never <laughs> let it go. Treasure, huh? no, well, that's true. So, so I'm gonna go through here. Big Mike, you still out there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, Charles. We call. Yeah, him. Well, it's funny, guys. My my full name is Charles Michael Johns. Right. My dad's name is Charles Arliss Johns. Okay. My brother's name is Charles Daniel Johns. So the reason I got known by Mike or Michael was my middle name. When I heard it, I always knew who was in trouble. Oh, there we go. Okay, I understand now. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Big Mike, Kathy, and and almost all of you guys are on in the morning. Kathy is now in St. Louis. Um, you used to live here for a while. You've been in St. Louis now, what, two or three years? Um, I went back in 2012. Okay, even so longer. Time flies, yeah. yeah no, God, no kidding. And Kathy, uh, I know. she's been in the thick of it. Kathy's a nurse, so as some of you know in the morning, she's been in the thick of it, and you've been, you've been swabbing and, and all that. Swabbing yeah. COVID since March. Yeah. Swabbing COVID since March. We swab about 20 to 30 people a day. Oh, um, oh, what you have something to drink, right, Kathy? <laughs> there you go. Uh, Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Yeah. But Someone has to. Good. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Andrea. Yeah. What's up? Hey, girl. Hi, the newlywed. Yes, she is now. That's right. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> As a thank you, thank you. Yes, she was. Uh, apparently, she's no longer Italian, so that's all right, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Italian, Italian, Italian only by injection. Oh. <laughs> I'm married and I'm Italian still, so, it's all yeah, there. so me too. I'm married to an Italian, so I'm Italian by injection only. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys just had an anniversary, right. We did. Yes. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah. Very cool. April is an old boy. I've known April, oh lordy, since I uh, started doing talk radio. Like, uh, God help me. Before that. The, oh yeah, that's true. Comedy. 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 Carla, Catch Rising Star, and oh my when lord. Did you, when did you start? You had just won the contest or something. Uh, it was, like it was, that. It was like 90, I've like 30 years. We 30 years I've known you. Dang. Can I Google that? I want to Google that. Wow. Yeah. 
Um, like my best friend introduced me to her because we were seeing lots of com comedians yeah. back then. And so she's like, I want you to go see Carla. And so we ran in there and Carla was really nice. And she had on <laughs> condom earrings with yeah. lightning bolts on them. And I'm, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, what kind of earrings? Condom. Condom. Oh. You heard. You had lightning heard. bolts, like one or two on them. And I just was like, that's ingenious. That caught my attention. <laughs> Loved it. And then I don't even know if you remember, but you took us in the back and I we went through all that. the little comedian tents. And I think the guy that makes the sound from Police Academy was back there. I want to <laughs> say. Oh, no. we, wow. just, we just brought him up. That's so funny. He used to do he used to do comedy. Was he a great comic? I don't know, but he made great noises. <laughs> he did. Cool. He did. There's Georgia. 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 I'm here. Marty's there too. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I it's, could see you guys, but that was it. <laughs> I got tell you right now, most of us have probably done this before, so we've gone through the whole hello. Can you see right. me? <laughs> hello? Is anybody, is anyone out there? Whoa, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who just joined? Go ahead. Who's wait a minute? It's got to be. Uh, hold on. Who uh, who just came on? Tammy. Um, is it Tammy? No. Did okay. Wendy come? Did Wendy confirm? Went. No, Wendy did not confirm. Hold on. I dropped something. Hold on. There we go. Um, almost Wendy did on. not confirm. Wendy and April were. Um, well, they were old party, old part. They were young party. Oh, she partied harder than me. Yes. Just FYI. Yeah. Oh, I believe <laughs> that. Hey, April, with the margarita glass that big, I don't think anyone can party harder, harder well, than you. Well, you know, I had to break her in. It's the first time. Uh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay, who just joined us and is trying to trying to look? Is that is that Tammy? Is it you? Uh, somebody doesn't have sound. Somebody's chatting, yeah. Who is it? Yeah. Or, it says, or, like, Nikki. Or somebody. Moto. Oh, uh, it's okay. me. Hi, Kyla. Hi, Kyla. Well, hey, Kara. How you doing? This, Hi. by the way, this is Kara, and Kara was, uh, I believe, bridesmaid and maid of honor, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Where you? You didn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You didn't let Kara drink too much, did you? <laughs> no. Okay. Good. Okay. She was feeling okay the next day. Yep. Okay. <laughs> she had to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I uh um I understand a lot of kids are doing this at school from from what I can hear on uh, this on online. Jeez. Um. So I was gonna say April. Now Andrea, you're out near Jersey. Uh, April used to have. April, you had that big Jersey hair, man. I loved it because that was what we had today. Well, I cut my hair off in high school. Then I moved back here to Vegas. So that the picture of me and short hair are probably straight out of high school. And then we went into the poison, which is so funny you said that. But because on my wall, we went and saw a poison in the teeniest venue when MTV was like helping stars make it. And we met oh. them all. And I, had, I found a flyer from back then and it says call 800 MTV and request this song I, and if Wendy came on I was going to surprise her with it but she's not here <laughs> we'll save that for the next time she might make her way we'll see I think she we might at, uh, I think we were all at that point at some time in our yeah. life I mean who would have even thought that Guns N' Roses and Poison would be classic rock now oh, oh. <laughs> oh I know right. hold on I got it right here Gus is giving it to me say hi honey come poke your head in boys, Harvey. Oh, bye, Harvey. good evening everybody hey Harvey There's hi Harvey hi Harvey okay I'm not the only guy hi Mike Carla no you got big Mike in there yes well I just want to say hello you guys have a wonderful time thank you Harvey uh, you're very welcome. Have a good evening. Thank Bye, you, Bye, handsome. Bye, Harvey. There you go. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wow. Request Poison's video, Cry Tough, call 1-800-DIAL-MTV. So I don't know how old this is, but we all Whoa. know before they got big. That <laughs> is awesome. Oh. That's really cool. Love that. Oh, man. It's funny that, that you... 
say that. Andrea, you're uh, you're probably the youngest one here. I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah, at your ripe old age. What, 35? 34 almost. 34. Oh. 30. Don't rush it. Man, it's just a baby. I know. <laughs> a few more weeks, I'll be 34. Well, it, it's funny because, because you know, Andrea is like probably one of the biggest uh, um, Def Leppard fans on earth. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. And was planning on seeing them. I, I would have went Monday, but. Uh, I, hey, we missed Kansas, uh, Adam Lambert. Who else did we have? Garth Brooks, and I know there's someone else. I can't think of who else. But we had four shows lined up before we shut down. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, it'll change. Eventually, it'll yeah, Exactly. It'll, it'll all come back. It will. Mike, who's your, Big Mike, who's your band of choice? Who's your? You no, know, I'm, 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 I'm anything 80s. You know, I grew okay. up, uh, I'm 50s, so what, 80s was, what, my 10 to 20? So that was really the <laughs> formative decade for me. Um, I know like Poison and Def Leppard are out on, we're supposed to be out on the stadium tour right now. And yeah. we got to win. But I heard someone say earlier, they're a, a big Def Leppard fan. My best friend from high school who I graduated with in 1988 uh, personally works with Joe Elliott right now. So I don't know who it was that said they loved Joe Elliott. Me. I love right. Def Leppard everything. But I, I will arrange, if you message me privately or Carlo, however we do it, um, I will I will get a phone call for you. I would love that. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> Done deal. Andrea is diehard Def Leppard. Just That's send right. uh, Carla the, the info. She can, however we do it. And, uh, you know, Carla, you can be the liaison. This there man's go. got the hookups. I will indeed do that. We will. We will talk tomorrow. I absolutely will. Um, I'm. I'm switching around. I want to just kind of chat with you guys for a little bit. We always plan uh, when Mike and I have done these. We planned on doing things, and we just get to talking. Um, Georgia, I'm glad you're doing this today because I know. Uh, I know. I know for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are working, and you're lucky you're working, um, and some of you aren't working. And, and, you know, and it blows. It just blows. It really does. And I know some people have gone back to work, you know, a day here, a day there. Um, and so, Georgia, I'm glad you're here tonight. And, and I hope you have a nice little cocktail with you. I don't drink. Well, you <laughs> should. I, I do not drink. <laughs> I have my diet soda with me. Okay, that's fine. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been out of work seven months. God. Oh. And, and, wow. And, uh, and are I, you doing okay? I can't find anything. My unemployment is screwed up. You live here in I, Vegas, right? Today, yeah. Today I was on the phone with unemployment. I started at 7.55 this morning. I finally gave up at 2 o'clock. Don't, and, don't, and don't not give one up. time could I speak to anybody. Don't, don't give up. Don't We're give talking up. And, 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 and I counted my calls as 798 phone calls. What, what oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. 798 phone calls. Yesterday, I only did it for a little bit, 243 phone calls. What kind of work? Got through. Um, I, I actually, I do accounts payable, yeah. finance. Okay. And and I've done nonprofit, for profit, casinos, all of it. Come on, guys! If we each spend about <laughs> yeah. ten or fifteen minutes a day looking for something for her, Get it out I'm there. sure we can help her out. You guys hear of anything? Definitely let. And I'm yeah. here. If you guys, ever need to let me know anything? Like, hey, I I apply six to eight times every single day. I don't, don't give up. Work. The problem no, is, it's can't like, give up. It Gotta keep when going. You apply for a job anymore that that you know your resume goes out into an abyss, and, mm -hmm. and you know yeah, nothing. I, I I you know doesn't seem that long ago where you could walk in with your resume, fill out the application, and somebody could actually speak to you and get to know right. you. That you know. Yeah. But but let me tell you this: because of COVID. Yeah. They can ask you how old you are. And the reason why, because I said, no, you can't. And they said, yes, we can, because it has to do with, um, like, how easily you could get COVID. 
right? Oh. Right. And, wow. and because I'm going to be 60 years old in about three months, you know, it's harder for me. That it, It's that right. really, really tough. I feel, like right. I feel like they shouldn't be able to ask you that. I'm gonna... well, well, they can because it's, it's because of the COVID. That's the only reason why they can. Because I was always under the impression that they could not ask you, yeah. but they can now. It has they to do apparently with, with risk and, and... Yes, that's what it is. It's all about the risk. Uh, well, well, George, because I because George, of my age, you. I'm at a higher risk. Right. right. Georgia, I don't care what kind of risk you're at. I'm going to challenge everybody here. I can definitely give 15 to 30 minutes a day extra to go about spending looking for possible job opportunities for you. And I'm, I'm going to commit to that for the next couple of weeks. And Mike, you're a good guy. You're a no, I, can, no, I, can I appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's, it's That's not amazing. A big guy. We're just human beings looking wow. out for each other in a world that is so messed up where we, we have to look out for each other. I don't care where you stand on, yeah. on how you feel about all of it. it. We are the human race, right? We have to look out for each other. How can we not? Georgia, I have a friend um, that worked on an assembly person last week, and so they're looking into it. So if I hear of anything or I can put your name in there in any way, I will. There you go. Okay. Now, I got uh, one of my colleagues worked on this person and then passed our names on because a lot of us got fired because our boss would not uh, follow the guidelines. And I have a vulnerable husband and mother and brother and that I can't bring this home to. Yeah. So, See, and, um, but you know, that scares me. It scares me that I'm going to have to go out there because my daughter is not working either or my son-in-law. So nobody is working in this household. I was the only person getting unemployment and bringing it into the household. So now, now that I don't get my unemployment and, and I have, it's a pending resolution for what I, I don't know. Well, I've been but pending, I was, but I already received yeah. unemployment before. I did too. But let me say one thing about the pending. So I got it too when we went on lockdown, but my boss got the PPP loan. So we all came off unemployment and went on to his payroll. And then he was going to do some shady stuff and then he canned us all. So then we had to go in and say we ended the job and that stuck us all in the pending hell. And we've been there since June 7th. So that's wow. my friend on the assembly person it brought it to their attention and i hear that they're looking into it not just one but many so i'm praying my eyes out if i hear anything make sure to drop your name okay thank you i'd appreciate okay. that if i hear anything because i'm Listen. i'm looking all over the place well i was gonna say and if anybody needs to to work out that frustration april is a massage therapist <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but I'm only working on I'm working on very few people, and they're mostly vulnerable. That haven't left right. the house very much. I have to be very careful not to hurt them. Sure, mm -hmm. exactly. So exactly. It's, it's I hear that it's a yeah. double-edged sword. Any yeah. which way you go, it it, it it is. Krista, are you still working? Yes, I am. Yeah, I get. I'm gonna get emotional because I feel bad. But I, I've been working the whole time. I'm very lucky. I'm in a consultant, and we we worked remote mostly anyway. We have our Vegas office, but I haven't been going into the office. I started working from home, but almost all of our employees work remotely, and so my job hasn't changed at all. I, I don't feel guilty. It's no <laughs> guilty. I, I no don't. I feel that way almost every day. I really do. That that I'm. I feel I'm, very blessed. My I, yeah. I nothing has changed for me. Um, and even my daughter, she um she she was born and raised in Vegas, and she was living in California. And just um, last month, she decided to move to Seattle. She has a friend up there. I don't know why, she, but she wanted to go to Seattle. She has a friend up there, another friend who's going to move there, and she. Her um, her work is based in California, and and everyone that works there lives in California. And she said, she just went to her boss and said, "I'm just going to ask you because you can say no. I want to move to Seattle. Can I just work remote?" And none of the employees ever worked remote. And he said yes. Okay. And since that time, two other employees have moved and are working remote because. Wow. 
So she just, what she just said, all he can say is no. And so she was able, even able to take her job with her to Seattle. And now two other employees moved and can work remote just because she wow. asked. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm I feel blessed that. because my daughter's working still what? and I'm still working and yeah, I'm yeah, lucky. Yeah. Listen, it's a, it's a, uh-oh, uh-oh. I know Andrea's still working. I, I felt, uh, and, and every day, th there's a, a big change going on in the radio world right now, so I, I uh, count mm -hmm. my blessings. Um, there's another big company that, that uh, uh, really just, it's very sad what happened. They let a whole lot of employees go. And, and I saw that. Um, yeah. I actually saw some of the people that I, uh, I I listened to another station. But oh, no, I listen. We're all friends. And, and the morning person I saw wasn't on there anymore. And I kind of read the news and I saw that some other people aren't at other stations. So, yeah. It, it's really sad. And, and, and some things are, are uh, just becoming very generic. I'm, I'm lucky I work for a, a smaller radio company. We took pay cuts and we're still taking those pay cuts. No. Um, and, and because, you know, who has money to spend on advertising? And that's what our, our right. you know, salaries are based on. It's okay. You know, I get to go in every morning and still in some way be a comedian, thank God. Um, so I'm happy about that. And I felt guilty and I still feel guilty and I understand. But I also know that, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully um, this will change for other people too and I know that other people have taken pay cuts I know some people have been furloughed in some way or they have to take those days off here and there I don't know if you had to do that Andrea uh, uh, Kemalia I don't know um, if you had to do that or not uh, um, no I haven't had to do that yet uh, I'm okay, just, good. and you've like, been able to but I'm working from home two days a week yeah. when Kara's right. in school right okay I actually, after I, I won my first Jingle Bell Rock and I got let go from my company that got bought out, I worked for, I worked for the big MMA company that got bought out. Mm -hmm. And um, when I won the Jingle Bell Rock, I started working for myself. Yeah. That's so right. um, I, I, with that money, I paid for a lawyer and got out of my contract, built an office in my home. And um, I took all those, those clients with me. So That's awesome. nice. I have... I have over 300 entertainers, musicians, MMA fighters, boxers. That's amazing. I now, I now have baseball wow. players. So, oh, so wow. I, I do That's my awesome. own hours, but I've done my part to help people out that are really having trouble right now. Um, I've, I've become really good at helping people apply for uh, unemployment, apply for uh, paycheck protection, um, apply for loans for businesses. And I do that at a minimal fee or nothing until they receive something. That's, that's nice. nice. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Wonderful you do that. I am. Um, she has a friend, Lori, of course, who, um, it was funny because, you know, remember way, you know, what, March, April, when nobody could get a mask? <laughs> nobody right. could get a mask. Except for you, Kathy. You, who had them at your disposal, I know. <laughs> but, Nobody can get a mask. Oh, yeah, know. and and Lori. I love the Carla's boobs. Yes. No. <laughs> Hashtag Carla's boobs. I have. Oh, please. I gotta order please, one. Guys, they're the best. They're very comfy. Very comfy. They're what really they? light. They're light and really soft. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> <That's so nice. laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> right. Right. They're very soft. Very soft. <laughs> they're, I've been told they're very very soft. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're very Saturday, cool. whether you need it or not. I, I'm going to have to take your word on that. <laughs> hey, Carla, before, before we go any further, before I forget, I don't know if you remember, but a few months back, I had to contact you. My youngest daughter, Grace Marie, um, <laughs> I hate getting emotional in front of Mike, can I just say that this is the most emotional woman <laughs> Well, my, my youngest daughter was, um, whew, my youngest daughter was hit by a bullet October 1, and uh, she's okay, but uh, if you maybe now could say hi to her, give her some encouragement. What's her name? It was hard for her, and uh, you're part of the reason we were covered in Vegas as one of those people who made a difference in keeping us Vegas strong, so thank you. What is your name, Mike? Cry. 
What's your name, Mike? Grace Marie. Grace Marie. Grace Marie. What a beautiful Ooh. name. What a beautiful <laughs> girl. How old Very is she now? Well, you know what? She just turned uh, 18. She's in Northern California. She was within about um, 30 miles of one of the biggest fire uh, fires that was going on. She's doing okay. She's safe. Um, she wants to finish her first year at, at college, and then she wants to come here to Vegas. Uh, we've been through a lot. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, just... I just, I guess that kind of transitions into, and I don't mean to take up time here, but it transitions into her um, loving, wanting to be here for many reasons. And, and Carly, you have been one of the, the many reasons that Vegas, hashtag Vegas Strong has succeeded. So, so thank you. You're sweet, but we, do, we listen to uh, we don't, uh, I, I, that, yeah, listen, the last, the last few years have been a, a lot room. of crap. A a lot of people. Hey, Kara. Uh, between, between one October, um, uh, you know, this, just a lot of things. And, and, uh, it's a funny thing. And I'm not, I'm not, listen, I don't do brain surgery. We get on the air in the morning and we get to have fun. And and Mike and I sometimes wonder, and we went through after one October. It's like, what are we, what are we even doing? This is, it's ridiculous, you know. And and the fact that we were, they sent us paperwork, you know, uh, when when the shutdown started, that that because we're media and we were deemed essential. It's like, uh, seriously. Um, so we just kept doing what we did. People have to laugh. People have to. People have to cry. Um, people have to get their anger out. And, and so I, Mike and I have worked together off and on for, uh, 20 years this year. No. Yeah. 20 years this year. Wow. And we have been through, uh, I, I mentioned, I won an award recently mentioned that we've been through, we went through a nine 11. We were on the air with this woman. We've been through, yes, we've been through divorces and breakups and just and and just bad 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 stuff and and always on the air and that's been an escape for us and i i feel bad sometimes that everybody doesn't have that kind of escape but i also know whatever job you have that is an escape for you and we all complain about work i gotta go to work I'm blah, 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 blah. that is an escape for everyone no matter what and, mm -hmm. and when you have that job it is good and i know when you don't that's all you think about is not having that job but we've been lucky and mike i thank you i i hope we did something um <laughs> for did. you or anybody else going through some some tough times but it it uh it, it makes me feel good that that i don't know if you got to laugh if you got to cry whatever it was but it makes me feel good that that <laughs> you know something we're doing is making some sort of a difference you know when we when we do you know poopu kaka and Carla, Carla, can I say, it, it, I know you doing what you do, you remain so humble. I, I know that's just your character. Um, I don't think you can even begin to understand how much of an impact people like you have in a city that has been through so much. And we're not different than other cities. We've all been through so much, wherever we're at, right? Um, but anyway... Uh, I just want to tell everybody, on a side note, my 35-year career uh, was with Disney, and uh, every person on this uh, call right now, again, it's just about giving, right? We give when we can, and mm -hmm. when it's all said and done, and we can all go to do what we do, and life is back to whatever normal is, and we can travel to visit, every person on here, six tickets to visit Disneyland oh, listen, and they you want. You stop that. You stop No, no, that. I'm not because you the thing. It's, it's a I'm small in. it's a small piece of what I can do. do it, Carla. Because of my life career. <laughs> and if I can benefit Me too. it's not about what I do. It's not about doing that, whether it's that or whether it's something small or like Andrea said what she said. April, you said little things. Carla, Christina, Kathy, Andrea, all you guys, we do what we can. And it takes 11 people to move the football down the field, right? <laughs> but but when, 
when the game is won, we all we all benefit, right? Yeah. And so I'm just grateful yes. to be a part of something so small. And and man, Carla, again, you are man, <laughs> Carla, you just you, you just amaze balls. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. You really are. But I yes, I'm not. I don't. I I'm lucky. I'm the I am the luckiest person on here. I will brag because with the Gracie to- Award. Well, yeah, thank you. Right. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's pretty cool. I know one deserves it more than you. You're a sweetie. I didn't. I didn't know what a what a thing it was. It was a thing. <laughs> um, and and but the thing is, I uh oh, somebody hearing us? No, 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 not yet. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you got to love Zoom meetings. But I am the luckiest person on earth because, you know, April mentioned it before. I've been doing comedy. I've been able to do comedy. I get to make people laugh. How did you make that transfer from comedy to radio? How did that happen? Oh, you know what's funny? I um, <laughs> I had a uh, – it was at Catch a Rising Star, April, here yep. in town. Um, a program director happened to see me and said, hey, have you ever thought about doing uh, radio? And I had done a lot of radio as a comic, you know, sitting in and all that. But um, it uh, it was a funny thing. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can extend this. Okay, we've only got a few more minutes on this. We're gonna do this again though. But hi, uh, this is Nikki. I'm on here, but I don't know if anybody can see. Oh, hey girl, we can see you. I'm a first timer. I don't know anything it's about okay. this. <laughs> you got in in the nick of time. Hold on. I've um, been here the whole time. It's he's been here. <laughs> Hang on. Um, I'm creeping. <laughs> but the program director said, uh, have you ever tried doing radio? And I thought, well, you know, I've done it. It's a comic. How hard could it be? And it was talk radio. When talk radio was fun, it was fun. It wasn't political. We did some political, but we did talk. Right. You know, and you could still make fun. It was when Bill Clinton was in, and oh God, was there a better? Come on, no better fun. Comic. Always <laughs> sideways. Yeah, I, I, I loved him because of what he provided as a comedian. I loved it. And, um, <laughs> in April, you know, and it was topical. And I mean, we'd get down and dirty yeah. sometimes. And yeah, I loved you know, it. it. Loved it. Great. And I didn't know. And I truly said, well, yeah, I'll do it. How hard could this be? Well, it was way harder than I thought, and I loved it. And and it was hard for me to do that and, and comedy at one time. Now it's been the best thing for both of them. I get to be a comedian on the air. It was very different the first – for a while when, you know, you you throw something out. It's like, hello? Hello, anybody? Was that – did that – is anybody hearing this? Um, but but that's how I, I basically took it into radio, and I'm very proud of that because not a lot of comedians have been able to make that mm-hmm. that uh, transition from either or. And I'm glad I get to still do both. Hopefully, one day I get to do comedy again. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's uh, so that's how I got into that. He said, "Have you tried it? You want to try it?" Yeah. He said, "Another one of my uh, on-air people needs a partner." I want him with a partner and I'm a bit of a liberal and he was a little more conservative and he said, I want, you know, a little balance. And we had a blast. We just had a blast. It was so much fun. He left. Then it was me and a female. Julie range was her name. And then it was just me. And, um, and then station was sold and Mike said, come sit in with me. We'll get you on the air. And I've been with Mike now ever since off and on for like 20 years. So, um, nice. Band I, channel I, three. yes. Band and then channel I went to channel three, three for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I did, I uh, was with the Wagners over there. Anybody who's in town, you're, you're familiar with Kim and Dana Wagner. And That's I, when I first saw you, Carla. I yes, first saw Kathy, you. Yes, there you go. Uh-huh. And, and me it and was I a blast. You. And then yeah. we started following you. Yes. Everywhere. If you had yeah, a night so. somewhere in Vegas, we would go there. You're a doll. Please and then you would call us out sometimes in the audience. And we were like so, we see? felt like celebrities. You know, we would <laughs> kind of see you off to the side and we would say hello. And then you would be uh, like, Ed and Kathy's in the audience. And we would be yeah. like, yes, we're her friends. Good to see you, my friend. <laughs> so cool. A few of you have been called out. You're a doll, Kathy. Thanks for remembering that. You're a doll. You're Hopefully a fucking again. doll. You guys are awesome. I, I don't want to wrap this up, but we're going to try to do this okay. pretty regularly. And I hope all of you join again. I don't want to have too many more than this. You guys oh, yeah. continue <laughs> this. Everybody who's on here, I love you guys. I love seeing you in the morning. I love that you guys listen. Hashtag Carlos Booze. Thank you. We love you, Carlos. Hey, 
hashtag <laughs> and that includes you, Big Mike. You're one of right, the biggest. Right, Carla. Remember, you always say, "Don't be a dick." No, don't <laughs> be a dick. Don't be a dick. Kara, cover your ears. Don't be Love a dick. Love you guys. Oh, bye. Nice. Bye, everybody. Oh, stop. You're good. I love you guys. I hope I see you in the morning. Bye, yes. you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Love you, Carla. Georgia, I wanna, Georgia, I want to say keep your fingers crossed between you and these amazing women and Mike. I, I think fingers you're crossed. okay, buddy. I, I, keep I wish you all the luck. We're all Thank good. you. Thank Love you. Guys. Keep us anybody, posted, keep Georgia. Anybody? Thank you. I will. Hashtag Vegas Strong. If anybody, right. by the way, needs anybody's yeah. name from on here or wants to chat with anyone, let me know. But I think you guys kind of know these names. But if you do, let me know. Okay? Hi. All right. Okay. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Love, guys. Love you all. April Harvey, Kara, Mike. <laughs> Great week, everybody. Andrea, Kathy, April, Big Mike. I Take love care. you. Who else love is you it? Mock, Emilia, all of you. Mock. Love you guys. Andrea. Bye, guys. Cheers. You hang up. Bye. Love you. Love hang up. Love you hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> you up first. What? Like Brady Bunch. No, you Brady Bunch. <laughs> 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 All of the love.